Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and welcome to the series Practice With Me Sessions, SOLIDWORKS Beginners. Few things before we get started. If you're not in the first video of the series, you would probably miss something useful. Practice With Me Sessions are designed in a way to explain tool to the beginners by actually working on the simple projects. Thereby, they learn to implement the tool at the same time. It requires zero CAD knowledge if you want to start with these lessons. I will make the drawing file full size in every video beginning so the users can take a screenshot of it and use it while they practice. This series is created following the success and appreciation I received from Ketia videos. So I will try my best to do the same with SOLIDWORKS as well. I request my viewers and subscribers to give the same support I received from Ketia tutorial videos so that we can make this program a huge success. As usual, give thumbs up and comments. Without further ado, let's begin. In this video, we'll work on exercise number 22 using Surface Design in SOLIDWORKS. To start off, we'll go to File, New and double click on the Empty Part Template. On the left side, we have the drawing and on the right side, we'll be doing the modeling. So, to begin with, we'll go to the sketch and maybe create the first element, that's the bottom portion. Maybe we can uh, start by clicking on the right plane. I'll use a line tool and just create this portion. Dimension it as 12. This is 15. And this will be 6. And this point will be horizontal with this tick mark. Smart dimension. This is 56 divided by 2. Alright, now we have a fully constrained sketch. What we'll do is we'll select this line, this line, and this line and go for mirror entities. Okay, before doing mirror entities, we need to create an axis line. So now, we'll go for mirror entities and select the lines that we would like to mirror and mirror about this axis here. Click on tick mark. Now you can use the line tool and just join this two portions. Alright, now we have this done. Let's go to the exit sketch and we'll go for surfaces and extrude surface. The overall length is 75, so you can give 75 divided by 2 here. In the same way, you can go for 37.5 on the other side. Now we have that done, right? So by doing this um, extrusion on both sides, we are saving a step because now we ha already have a plane here you can see that there's already a plane existing here so if if at all we have to mirror or do something then we can do it symmetrically without creating extra planes now we'll just go ahead and uh, create this holes we'll select this face and go for sketch and just simply draw a circle dimension that circle as how much diameter 12 right and that circle is lying at a distance of how much seventy five divided by two oops sorry forty five divided by two right right now select that this point here and this point origin and go for horizontal now we have it fully constrained you can select maybe you can create another center line and select go for mirror entities and select this go from mirror about and select this axis here go for tick mark right exit sketch now you can go for surfaces and go for extrude surface extrude in the reverse direction up to the surface. 
you can select uh, the surface easily with a tick mark now we have that done right right now select that surface and go for trim surface you can select uh, I will do one thing. Let's extrude. We'll just edit feature. Let's not give it like this. We'll just go for aligned and we'll give like 15 minus 6 is 9, right? Alright. Now we'll select this surface and go for trim surface now I can select remove selection and we're gonna select something oops I feel there's something wrong with this okay mm. we'll do one thing we'll just go for okay it's already in the sketch mode let me just hide this for construction we'll make it a foot mark exit sketch now we have only one surface there L let me just go ahead and select that surface and go for trim and now you can get that option here so I'll just remove this and this tick mark now that's removed now similarly, what you can do is mm, let's see if we have an option for okay we'll do one thing, we'll just select the surface here and go for offset surface oops, that's not the way I need to do offset Allow. we need some tool to propagate the surface flatten offset radiate let's radiate It's not the one. There should be something. Features. Move or copy. Let me select this. It's not the one. I see that there's a lot of features missing when it comes to uh, Kitty and SolidWorks. In SolidWorks, a lot of features are missing. Anyways, let's just go ahead and make that manually here. So a lot of people ask me what's the difference between SolidWorks and Kitty. So the difference is uh, really seen over here. There's a lot of options that are missing. A lot of things that you cannot do what you do in uh, Kitty. So uh, let me just uh, go for convert entities here and select that and go for, for construction. And let me just go ahead and create a center line here. And let me select the mirror entities and just select this as an uh, entity's mirror and this one as the axis and go for tick mark. Let me select that and go for remove the for construction option. Go for tick mark. Now let me just go ahead and uh, create an extrude, extrude 4, 9, and that would be in the reverse direction. Alright, now we have that done as well. Now let me just go ahead, select that surface and go for trim, and select this and this surface here and go for tick mark. 
now we have that done as well okay so we have the bottom portion done now what we can do next is to create this portion here this portion so before creating that I suggest you create this this portion so let's see the level where this this surface is lying so if you see that you can see this is 25 let's see if there is some area yeah, it's given over here from the bottom face to the top face it's 63 so basically you just have to select this face and go for features plane you just have to go for reverse direction flip offset and just in key in the distance here 63 now we have that done as well right select that plane there and go for sketch control 8 the reverse direction All right now you just have to give like two circles concentric and go ahead and uh, key in the values of diameter as 22 and this diameter as uh, 36 all right and the distance is from the center to this edge here oops from the center to this edge is how much 100 now that circle is going to go and stand there, right there okay now still it's not fully constrained and I think the center of the circle and this origin should be constrained with vertical and you can see that the sketch is fully constrained make it a point that always before you exit the sketch you make sure if even if you even if the sketch tells you in its looks that uh, it's fully constrained sketch still you look for that because that's a safe way of designing things now it's fully constrained you can exit sketch you can go for uh, surfaces go for extrude and give this as 25 now we have that done as well right good now you can okay before doing that okay let's just uh, select this right plane and go for sketch there and you can draw a line from this place <laughs> you can just draw like this also select that line select this line and go for horizontal tick mark alright now from the bottom we have another line coming and that comes and stays or just just gets attached at this point here and now let me put it a little inside and I do it for almost all the uh, models that I do so I'll just go for externalities and extend this all right now let me just go ahead and give some dimensions for this so from this point so th to the center of the circle oops it's not working from this point okay it's not working so it's fine leave it so okay so let's see this let me just do one thing let me draw a axis line here and now I, I can constrain it from this point to the center of the circle it's 36 so I'll key in 36 here it cannot be performed okay now it's like it's fully constrained now uh, no I think it's not it still can move around so what I would do is from this axis and the outer diameter is 36 so it's 18 so to this point it should be 18 okay it's 18 meters fully constrained anyways now uh, it's fully constrained except the fact that this is not staying at a point the reason why I'm doing that is because when I do uh, extend over here this should be covered right if I do it if my sketch was to end over here and if I do an extrude here you'll find a gap here and again you have to go back of that to fill that 
so now we have this inside in fact even if i just do an extrude that gap will be covered and then later you can do a trim or whatever i can just exit sketch and then okay i just need to fill this main portions as well so let me just go ahead and do that by going to the sketch and drawing this now that's done exit sketch now i can simply select that sketch and go for extrude and do an extrude of how much six on both sides six on both sides we have that done as well right okay one thing i want to mention here okay let me just give a try mm, let me select the surface go for trim okay one thing that's uh, that i would love to do differently would be just go for the sketch go for edit sketch and remove these two lines because this is again going to be a repetition so i just don't want that so now i have a, a hollow there because anyways i need to remove the surface at this place so let me select this surface here and go for trim and uh, remove these portions now here you can see what I'm talking about so when I do an extrude here there will be some portions that would be coming here this would have been a gap if I didn't extend it inwards so I hope that's understood and let me just move ahead and uh, explain the remaining portions of it now uh, we need to remove this uh, rectangular portion so to do that let me just select this sketch and I'll simply go ahead and one two three four five right now select this one two three and four go for four construction go for offset and go for reverse and in reverse you can go for point one it's coming inwards right you can tick mark you can exit sketch now what you can do is basically just select that sketch here go for trim and select the surface and go for tick mark now that surface will be removed right similarly you can also remove go for sketch here and just draw just select one two and third line okay this is not vertical I'll just go ahead and make it vertical oops okay so this coincidence should go so let me just select this line and this line and this line here and go for for construction and then go for offset reverse it and go for tick mark okay and now we can delete this portion go for extend extend entities and extend over here as well now you can trim entities and trim this in one of portions now we can uh, exit sketch here 
exit sketch now being that sketch selected you can go ahead and go for trim and take this portion off tick mark now that portion is also off right now that's a hole over there now what you can do is go for the plane so basically where can we find the plane features go for the plane and uh, you can go for the right plane right it's the right plane you can offset it uh, with six here right six so offset it with six all right now you can select that plane and go for sketch now what you can do is just convert entities convert entities and you can go for a line just draw a line here and go for trim just trim those unwanted portions and tick mark exit sketch now you can simply use the uh, what do you call it? okay still have some portion to be covered right so let me just select that sketch and go for it uh, edit sketch okay and let me do one thing let me just draw a line from here downwards and I'll go for extend extend this I'll delete this control 8 and I'll draw a line horizontal here and go for extend and extend this now I'll trim right now you can tick mark and exit sketch now you can easily go for surface and use the fill surface and select this sketch Now you can see that the surface is filled. You can tick mark. And now what you can do is select that surface and go for offset. Reverse offset. Reverse with 12, right? Because you have 12 here. Reverse it. So that that surface comes on the other side as well, right? Okay. Now you can see that um, the surface got removed from here as well when I did the uh, what do you call the trim from there so you can either fill it just select you can just fill it it won't harm anything and then you can uh, basically um, go for the first surface or for the sketch and go for fill surface make sure that uh, okay it's fill right so you can just fill it and that will come in the middle so hide that but still select that surface go for offset and offset it with a distance of how much 75 divided by 2 So you have it on one side now you can select that surface again and go for offset and this time reverse it and give 75 itself and that will fill on the other side now model is almost complete except the fact that we have something to do over here and also it would be great if we can you know uh, this is a swell surface okay let me do one thing me go for it because we need to remove this portion right this portion so to do that I'll just go for surface and I'll go for knit knit this this the surface and the surface right 
net four of that. Select that net as a tool, go for trim, and then select this surface to be removed. Now we have that portion removed perfectly, right? Now you can go for fill surface and select these two circles. Boundary is open and cannot be patched. Okay, select this as well. Now you can go for tick mark. Now it's filled, right? Similarly, you can go for fill surface. One and two and three four. Tick mark. Now that's filled as well. So it's a continuous surface over here. All the surfaces that we can see over here are continuous. Surface. These are all the surfaces that is involved in this drawing. Right? And if you see a section cut, a section view, you'll be able to see that there is no surface that is rep repeated. It's all continuous surface. If I see it from the other side as well, we'll be able to see the similar thing or similar effect. Alright, so that's all about this particular uh, uh, exercise. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you and stay tuned. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubts on this video, put them on the comment section and I'll try to respond to them as early as I can. If you think my videos are helpful, hit the like, subscribe and share button. If you're interested to get How Engineers Do It t-shirt, you can get it by contacting me. I've put an image of it on the next slide. Here's a t-shirt. If you've got any CAD related requirements, don't hesitate to contact me anytime. I'm always looking forward to work with you. You can personally get in touch with me at ketia.pro.user at gmail.com. Thank you for your time and stay tuned.